Hi, I'm Kevin Lindstrom, the TechOps team here at Butterfly MX. I'm here in our New York warehouse to demonstrate how to splice a power cable during a Butterfly MX video intercom install. Remember that the correct gauge cable must be used based on the distance from the panel to the wall outlet. Please refer to our documentation on cable length and wire gauge relationships. For the purposes of this video, we assume a general familiarity with cable splicing and DC circuit polarity. For this activity, you will need a power unit and cables, a cable for splicing and a multimeter, a wire cutter and stripper, dolphins or caps, and electrical tape. First, stretch the cable with the barrel connector and fold it in half. This will ensure there is enough cable on both ends in case you need to repair the splice in the future. Cut the wire at the halfway point identified in the previous step. Once cut, you will notice the concentric circle pattern on both ends of the cut. There is a black outer sheath, a silver stranded outer conductor for the negative, a white inner sheath, and a silver stranded inner conductor for the positive. Strip the outer sheath carefully to avoid cutting into the outer conductor. Carefully separate the outer conductor from the inner conductor while joining the outer conductor strands together with your fingers to ensure a clean bundle. Once separated, they should look like a Y or T shape with one side being bundled outer conductor strands and the other side being the inner conductor. Next, carefully twist the outer conductor into itself to make a single unsheathed cable. Now unsheath the inner conductor. To ensure no contact between the conductors, always cut the inner sheath a little bit above the outer sheath. The greater the distance, the less risk of a short. Carefully twist the inner conductor into a single cable. As the inner conductor is also stranded, take great care not to miss any loose strands that could generate a short circuit. Next, repeat the unsheathing and twisting process on the extension cable. Using a cable with two conductors, Splice the outer conductor into the corresponding conductor in the cable being spliced in. Twist the conductors together. Place a dolphin or cap on each splice. Use the crimpers to secure each dolphin or cap. Verify there are no loose strands that could cause a short. If necessary, redo the splice. Loose strands will cause a short that will damage the device. In the base of the white inner conductor sheath, there should still be visible strands of the outer conductor. This is normal. Tape together the bundle to secure the splice from movement. Repeat the process on the opposite end of the power cable. Ensure that the same wires in the splice cable connect the inner and outer conductors. Next, use a multimeter to test the splice for polarity and continuity and ensure there are no shorts or polarity issues. Set the multimeter to DC in the 200 volt range. The barrel connector has the positive inside the barrel and the negative on the outside. The multimeter displays correct polarity and voltage, 24 volts, give or take 0.4, indicating a good splice. 